Hello, baby. How are you doing, baby? I'm just kidding, baby. Let's get straight to the chase. What I want to do in this tutorial is you see these things, these walls, you get inside here, you can see them. But that's bad. That's just killing um, computing time, uh, rendering time, uh, space, and many, many things that we don't want to be rendering. There's no point in rendering this face. Since we, there's no point to reaching there, no, there's no, I didn't mean there's no point. There's no way of reaching there. Instead, if like if you dig down, maybe you could see it, but we're not digging down. We cannot see. We want to hide that. We don't want to show it. We don't want to render it. We don't want to waste our time and our precious uh, CPU fingers and the uh, GPU and whatever. You get the yeah, idea. Point. So what shall we do to stop that? <laughs> First things first, over here on can generate mesh, we're gonna change this. We're gonna do if we already do that, we we'll just return. And then we're gonna do chunk uh, right is equal to get chunk at uh, chunk position plus new vector free with zero zero. And then you just wanna do that, and then you want to do the same thing for the left one, but put a minus instead of that. And then copy these uh, two more times. So back, front, up, and down. So the back is going to be this, this the exact same thing we did here, but it's going to be on the z-axis and the up and down is going to be the exact same thing, but with height on the white axis. Not on the white axis. I'm not racist. <laughs> on the high. Oh shit! No, that's that's not on the height. On the y axis. That's what I meant. Jesus, mate. Give me a slack. So then we just go ahead and do if uh, right isn't null and right dot uh, calculated map. And then we want to go ahead and just and bam and bam and bam and bam and bam. I think that's it. I'm not entirely sure. And then I just like to double click. I think I need one more. I'm just gonna put one more. If I if I'm wrong, then I don't know. Just just call me gay for eternity. Uh, front up. I and I guess I'll be called gay for eternity. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. Damn it. <clears throat> and if that is all good and ready to go, we just say can generate mesh is equal to true. So that will basically wait for all the um, the chunks around me to be all ready and good to go. So we should you should not see any difference. Uh, no, there's no difference. For us to actually see a difference, we go here on the is block transparent. And I, I, th I think we wrote this already. I'm not sure uh, if we didn't just copy it because I have I had this like in the comment. I, I do a lot of testing uh, off camera. Uh, I really don't. I just did before this episode because I really wanted to to, to do lightning, but I didn't really uh, succeed at it. I mean, I did succeed, but I didn't really succeed. Uh, I think I'll just like end up like, looking at somebody else's system and uh, porting it to our clone. That's cheap, but I mean, you gotta start somewhere. Anyways, <coughs> so what this should do, it should just get a block in the world position, which means we will get a freaking error. Good. So, so chunk is a null. Like, what is wrong? Let's try and do a check here. If chunk is bigger than that, um, hmm. I want to do something like this. Like, try bam catch return zero and debug dot log chunk ID but I think this is gonna be not really that great oh, minus one okay so we yeah we just then do uh, or this is smaller than zero then we return so yeah that's sure you know you see how debugging is so useful and beautiful just gotta 
make sure you don't crash your uh, Unity because if you do something like debugging every single block, you're gonna do it. You're gonna crash it. It's, it's not gonna come back uh, alive or something. Just, you just yeah. Anyways, if you pause and go underneath uh, or around, you can see every single thing is rendering as um, as we wanted to. One thing you might notice is if you get out of the borders, there's one chunk that's not being rendered. The reason being, uh, and you can like walk on it and you can collide with the block still. The reason it's not being rendered is because um, there's no chunk after this one, so it doesn't know whether or not to actually render this face or render these faces. I mean, he doesn't really know what to do with his life, so he just he just deals with it. Yeah, I mean, that was quite, quite quite quick, we did a lot of stuff just in this period of time, wasn't that awesome? Yay! One more thing I want to do, let's go ahead and actually apply our colors, because we do not add any colors, and last time I tried, it didn't go so well. So let's just go ahead and do this. Colors that add color dot red. I'm adding red because I am fancy. So we have here four colors and why isn't that uh, working? Don't we have that? Oh it's a list of lists. Okay, why didn't you tell me earlier? Just add the chunk ID thing uh, over there. Great. Then we wanna go ahead and go wanna go ahead and go. Uh, on the C mesh, conflict mesh, and we go this that colors is equal to this Y that to array. So everything now should have a tint red. Oh my eyes! Oh my fucking eyeballs! Okay, yeah, that worked. There's no doubt about that one. And we also are going. To, uh, we're, we're gonna go ahead and make our high map. Yeah, we are. In so we, we yeah we initialize the height map. We're gonna go ahead and populate it. I want to go ahead and make um, a function called set block um, get world block. I'm gonna do public static void set world block. Oh come on! I want to do the exact same thing, just copying that right there. We are going to copy all these and we're just going to change it to our likings. We're going to actually return a boolean instead of uh, just being a normal void. Then we get that, then we say that the I actually want to say that this is equal to byte block ID. It's equal to the block ID, and then we just return true. Quite simple. So now let's use this new thing that we just did right over here. I'm going to go ahead and say set world block chunk position plus new vector three x y and z um, and set it to one oops then we're gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing right here and we're gonna set it to three okay so why did I do this because this is gonna update the height map automatically so we're gonna go ahead and see like if c dot height map uh, X and Z is smaller than Y. We actually want to get the world Y position, so position that Y. Then we're gonna say um, this is equal to position dot Y. And we don't want to make it an integer. <coughs> Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's good to go. So now that we have actually a high map, uh, well, first of all, I want to see if that worked out. We shouldn't see any difference. Well, I forgot to put the color back to white. So let's go ahead and go into add face. And let's make this something like white. 
white is just gonna be like normal it doesn't have a white tint it just doesn't have any color to it that's how it works uh, so yeah <coughs> What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I wanted to see if the height map is working all good and pretty. So how I'm gonna do that? Well, let's do something fun. Let's go ahead and say something like, if this is just give like, if chunk position that y plus y, it's smaller than height map. X and Z, then we're gonna do that. Otherwise, we're gonna do. I, if I could like, just like not misclick every single button on my keyboard, what's wrong with the height map? So if it is smaller, we're gonna say um, color that gray. It even rhymed. So now if you play, I think I. Miss. Hmm. Quite interesting. If chunk the position that y plus y. This is a lockable position, isn't it? So it should give me something. What if we actually exchange this thing? I'm experimenting a little bit because this is kind of awkward. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do something um, interesting. Let's go ahead and say else if this plus eight. Let me do that. Then we play. So we have, yeah. You can notice that we can like go through the blocks. Um, that's because we don't check if there's a block at our like head level. We we'll only check it at our ground level. We're gonna fix that later. Don't mind that at all. It's gonna be an easy fix. Um, what I'm seeing is that it's not really like I wanted it to be. Uh, where is it? Set world block. We're setting it to the y axis, but like. I have switched again the colors, I haven't done anything different if that's what you're wondering. I'm just trying to examine, examine, examine what is happening because it doesn't make any sense. I would like to debug, but I know I'm gonna fuck up. Oh, I haven't noticed, but I actually have here a world Y. I don't think that's gonna make any difference. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Maybe we're just setting the wrong position right there, because we're setting it to a float and then just casting it to an integer. Maybe that's giving us uh, some uh, some errors. I copied this thing world y. Uh, we have here the chunk ID which is and then we have the local y so I'm gonna try and do that. This is gonna give me a, an integer but it still didn't work out. Amazing. Wonderful. Just fucking wonderful isn't it? So I've actually debugged um, here the light, the height map. Um, I was expecting it to like crash every single time, but it actually didn't really crash. But we always get the, this 15 as a value, which is not exactly what I was expecting it for it to give me. Like, why is it always 15? That doesn't make any sense. If we go ahead and check here in the set world block, <coughs> we check if the height map is smaller than position at y. It should be zero. 
So, sequel to World Y? See, that doesn't make any sense. Let's actually debug that log. This is gonna go wrong, isn't it? Let me just pause and then play. I think that should. Nah. Nah. I told you, it's never a good idea to fucking dig this shit. 50 years later. Yeah. Nah. Let's see how that works out. <clears throat> so yeah, everything is being outputted as 15 for some reason. What's our chunk height? 16. Do you think it has something to do? Because 0 counts as a number. So if our height is uh, 16, uh, our world position would be 15. Chunk ID. <clears throat> but it, this gives right, and why wouldn't that give right? We're doing chunk ID. Chunk ID, you should give me the chunk ID. It is never, oh, of course it's never bigger than 15, Jesus, if it is smaller than 15, let's say 12, I don't want it to, I just, let's just, just be safe. Yeah, I fucked it up, again. Actually, this, it should go more than 15, shouldn't it? Because, I mean, we're talking about world position here, not local position. The world goes on the y-axis. This is going all over the place. Here, I think we should be shaking that for first of all. Okay, to minimize the thingy thing, we're gonna go ahead and do if block ID is equal to three debug that log world y. This should go a lot faster, shouldn't it? Isn't free the value of that thing like Jesus, mate? It is free. This is confusing me. There's a lot of situations where this block here that we are setting to free, and especially those ones should be the height, the, like the highest point, like for reals, I'm... what? High map is equal to new and height map. I think this was a, I said this to a byte last time, just change it to integer in case you don't have it as an integer. It does that at you awake and yeah fuck it. <laughs> 